Hello everyone. Welcome back to a lecture series for Gating Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. This is lecture number five for Artificial Intelligence course. So we have already started a different uh, lecture series on database management and warehousing. So you can watch that lectures also. So this is lecture number five. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about various key terminologies used in search problem. Then what is what is uninformed search, informed search, adversarial search, and what are and what are the different techniques or, or algorithm uh, used in each of the case. So we have discussed that. And in the previous lecture, we have discussed about depth first search algorithm in an informed search strategy, right? Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about BFS, that is Great First Search, which is also part of uninformed search strategies. Now, let's start the session. Now, uh, let's discuss about Great First Search, but let us revise what is DFS first, right? So, what is DFS first? What we would have done in the DFS? Say, for example, I have this particular tree, right? From A, I can go to B and C. From B, I can go to D. E and from F and this is G. Suppose this is my tree. Okay. So what happened in DFS? If this is my initial state, right? And we want to explore this particular tree. We want to find this F, right? This is my goal state, for example. So what happens in DFS? We follow stack data structure, right? That is last in first out principle in DFS. So what it does? First we'll go to node A. Then it will go to node B or node C, right? Suppose our AI agent has got, suppose AI agent has selected node B, then it will try to explore this node B and then it will try to explore a node D or E, right? So in this way, our, so in this way, in, in the case of DFS, our AI agent will take one particular path and try to go as deeper as possible, right? So suppose we have this, P, we have this M in this case node. If our A agent has taken this particular path A, B, V, P, M, it will try to go as deeper as possible until our goal state is fine or data in its reach, right? If our goal state is present in the particular path, so it will stop the searching or otherwise he will reach the dead end or then he will backtrack the unexplored node, right? So this happens with the help of stack data structure that is last in first out principle. So in DFS, our AI agent will take one particular path and try to explore as deeper as possible, right? So it will go into a particular depth of a particular path and then it will backtrack if we didn't find out the goal state. So that's how DFS works. But in the case of BFS, breadth first search, we follow Q data structure, okay? That is Q data structure based on first in first out principle that is FIFO first in first out principle okay now let us take same example this is my node A this is my node B this is my node C and from B to D I can go E this is F this is G and see for example I have this P also right and same thing we have this our goal state and this is our initial state right now BFS, what we'll do in the case of DFS, it will take one particular path and try to go as deep as possible. But in the case of DFS, it will take one particular node, try to explore whether it is goal state or not. It will go level by level. Okay, it will go level wise. This is level zero, right? So first it will explore all the nodes at this particular level, try to match whether this is our required goal or not. Then he will go the next level. So in this case, next level is B and C, right? So this is our level one. So first it explore B whether it is our goal state or not. Then he will explore C whether it is goal state or not. Then he will go to the next level. So in the case of BFS, the search algorithm will go shallower, right? So in the case of DFS, it will go as deep as possible. But in the case of uh, BFS, it will traverse the particular graph level by level. It will try to explore all the nodes at a particular level. So this is based on the first in first out principle. Right, so let us try to understand how this first in first out principle works. Okay, so for example, uh, let us take one example. Suppose uh, we have this node A in our queue. Okay, this is our queue. Okay, now A node enter the queue first. Right, now we take 
A out and we try to explore whether A is my goal state or not. A is not my goal state. But from A, I can go to B and C. So I will enter B and C. So in the queue, B and C will be entered, right? We can either also enter C and B in this particular sequence, but try to maintain one sequence, okay? Now, the next node in my queue is B, right? Then I will take out B from the node. Then I will try to explore whether this is my goal state or not. This is not my goal state, right? Then, but from B, I can go to D and E. So I will add D and E. So C will be there. D and E will be there, right? But in the but in the queue, my next element is C. So instead of going to the D, I am going to C. So th this is the difference between DFS and BFS. In the case of DFS, if we follow last in first out principle, we will go to the next element D. In this case, we are going to the next element C, right? Now we go to next element C and we try to explore it, whether it is my goal state or not. No, but from C, I can go to F and G. So I will take C out. D and E come first, then after that F and G, right? Now, according to Q principle, our next node is this particular D node. Okay. So it will try to explore whether it is my goal state or not. No. But from D, I can go to P. So if we explore D, but from D, I can go to P. So P will come at the last. Then the next node in our Q is E. Right. Then it will try to explore E. E is not my goal state. Then it will try to explore F. So F is my particular goal state. Right. So this is how this BFS work. We search level by level, we try to explore all the nodes at a particular level and then we go to the next level. So that's the simple concept of BFS. And in the case of DFS, we follow one particular path and try to go as deep as possible. If we didn't found up our required goal, uh, we backtrack to a previous unexplored node. Okay. So that's the difference between DFS and BFS. So DFS works on uh, stack and BFS works on queue. Okay. So we'll take one more example, but in the next lecture, we are going to discuss the difference between BFS and DFS. Okay. Up till now, we have only discussed how DFS and BFS works with the help of graph traversal and maze puzzle example. But in the next video, we are going to discuss based on different parameters. Okay. So this is very important, your exam point of view. Right, so there is time complexity, space complexity, right? Whether it is incomplete or complete. So all this parameter we'll discuss in the next lecture. So that video will be important. Uh, you can get, you can expect one question from based on this difference between BFS and DFS. So do watch that particular video. Okay. Now let us discuss one more example. Yeah. So if you remember in the previous lecture we have discussed this example, and we have found out that okay, even in the case of depth first search, if we follow depth first search. It will give us the required solution, but may not be an optimal solution. Now, in the case of BFS, we'll take the same example and we'll try to explore it. Right? So, this is our initial state A, right? This is our initial state A, and this is our goal state B. Now, we want to go from A to B here, right? Now, in the case of DFS, what we do, we follow one particular path like this and we try to explore whether it is my uh, goal state or not, right? Either we can go in this way also or in this way also, it depends, right? But in the case of breadth first search, what happens? We try to explore both the paths. So first I will go in this direction and I will go in this particular path, right? Because we are going level by level, right? Because we are following first in first out principle. Then the who come first in this particular element like this, we are going to follow our BFS algorithm, right? Now if you see here, we already reached to our Required goal state, right? So first we explore this particular node, then we explore this particular node, and we again we explore this particular element, then we explore this particular element, again we explore this particular element, then we explore this particular element. So simultaneously we are following both the paths and try to see whether it is my goal state or not, right? So that is based on first in first out principle, right? So because we started from this particular direction, so this will come first in the uh, queue, right? So after that, this element will come first. So in this way, we we'll follow. We are following the last in first order principle and we are reaching to this particular goal state, right? So that's it. Now in this case also, let us take one, one more example. Now in this case, here you can see, if I go from the, like this, like this, like this, but in the case of DFS, if you remember, we have this decision point, either I can go on left-hand side or either, go, or either I can go on right-hand side. 
But in this case, what will happen? I will follow both the paths, right? First, I will go on left hand side, then right hand side. Now I will try to explore each and every path. Now, here you can see again, this is my decision point. In the case of DFS, we just explore one path and we reach till dead end, then we come back to this particular node and again we try to explore. But in the case of BFS, we will explore both the path, right? So you, here you can see, right? So I am exploring all the paths simultaneously. Here you can see, like this, like this, I can go. Yeah, now I have reached our goal state. But if you remember, in the case of uh, DFS, we just follow. We follow last in first word principle and we reach to this particular B without exploring this much elements, right? We have not explored this these elements in the in the case of BFS, BFS. But in the case of DFS, we have explored this much element because BFS algorithm will explore each and every element and then it will try to match with a particular node, right? So it will take more space, right? So we'll discuss this difference between DFS and BFS in the next video, right? So I hope you understand the example, like this example. We try to explore both the paths in the case of BFS, but in the case of DFS, we follow one particular path, reach to a particular dead end or goal end, and then we backtrack, right? So that's the difference between DFS and BFS. So we'll discuss this in detail in the next lecture uh, with the help of different parameters, okay? So that will be an important video. So please try to watch that video, okay? Thank you.